Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this class, I am going to teach you complete solution of a partial differential equation, general solution of a partial differential equation, linear partial differential equation with the example to find the general solution of a linear partial differential equation and we will solve problems. So let us start the class. Complete solution of a partial differential equation. A solution of a partial differential equation is said to be complete solution if it contains as many as arbitrary constants as there are independent variables. That means the number of independent variables must be equal to the number of arbitrary constants in the solution. Now let us proceed to the general solution. A solution of a partial differential equation is said to be the general solution if it is a relation involving arbitrary functions, if it is a relation involving arbitrary functions which provides a solution to that differential equation. Now let us proceed for linear partial differential equation. A partial differential equation of a first order is said to be linear if it is of a first degree. If it is of a first degree in P and Q, otherwise it is called non-linear. And this example here, Z into XP minus YQ is equal to Y square minus X square is an example of a linear equation. Here the power of P and Q is 1, they are first degree. To find the general solution of a linear partial differential equation, this is the rule by which you can find. The general solution of the linear partial differential equation, P, P, Q, Q, R is equal to R, is F of U, V is equal to 0, where F is an arbitrary function, and u of x, y, z is equal to c1, v of x, y, z is equal to c2 form a solution of the equation dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r. Let us apply this procedure to find the solution of a linear partial differential equation. Find the general solution of the partial differential equation zx p minus z y q is equal to y square minus x square. Now solution. Here zxp minus zyq is equal to y square minus x square. Comparing with p, a capital P small p, plus capital Q small q is equal to R. We get P is equal to Zx, capital Q is equal to minus Zy, R is equal to Y square minus X square. Then the subsidiary equations are dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r. It implies dx by zx is equal to dy by minus zy is equal to dz by y square minus x square and these are the subsidiary equations we are getting from the equation. Now taking first and a second ratios we get. What we will get? dx by zx is equal to dy by minus zy. So zz cancel. This gives us dx by x is equal to minus d 
y by y d this implies dx by x dy by y is equal to 0 now integrating we get ln x plus ln y is equal to ln c1 this gives you ln xy is equal to ln c1 this gives xy is equal to c1 so let us take this as equation 1 so we are getting one solution now let us proceed for the second solution again taking multipliers x y z again taking multipliers x y z we get dx by zx is equal to dy by minus zy is equal to dz by y square minus x square which is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz by zx square minus zy square plus z into y square minus x square which is equal to x dx y dy z dz by 0 so taking multipliers we get this equation this implies x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0. So taking multiplies x y z we get this expression is equal to 0. Now integrating we get x square by 2 y square by 2 z square by 2 is equal to c dash. This gives you x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 2 c dash let it be c2 so the required general solution is a of this is equation 2 we can take a of the first solution we have got xy f of xy x square plus y square plus z square equals to 0 taking multipliers uh, x y z we get dx by dz dx by zx is equal to dy by minus zy dz by y square minus x square which is equal to x dx plus y dy plus z dz and we are multiplying x to zx y to minus z y and z to i square minus x square by which the denominator becomes 0. This means this expression is equal to 0. After integration we get x square by 2, y square by 2 plus z square by 2 is equal to c dash or x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 2 c dash c2. So the general solution is equal to each f of uv is equal to 0. This is the first solution and this is the second solution we are getting. So, let us solve the second problem. Find the general solution of the partial differential equation x, y, x into i minus z into p, y into z minus x into q is equal to z into x minus y. Solution. Uh, here, 
x into y minus z into p, y into z minus x into q is equal to z into x minus y. Now comparing with p p capital P small p q capital Q small q is equal to R we get. P is equal to x into y minus z, q is equal to y into z minus x, r is equal to z into x minus y. So, we are getting the value of a P, a q and a r. Then, Then the subsidiary equations are dx by x into y minus z is equal to dy by y into z minus x is equal to dz by z into x minus y. So we can write So we have dx by x into y minus z is equal to dy by y into z minus x is equal to dz into z into x minus y is equal to dx plus dy plus dz by 0 taking 1, 1, 1 as a multiplier. So, which implies dx plus dy plus dz is equal to 0. Integrating, we get x plus y plus z is equal to c1. So, the first solution we have got. Next, taking multipliers. Taking multipliers yz, xz, xy, we get dx by x into y minus z is equal to dy by y into z minus x is equal to dz by z into x minus y is equal to yz dx xz dy xy dz by 0 so if you multiply here uh, yz and uh, here xz and here xy that means to the numerator and a denominator we have to multiply the first uh, ratio by yz the second ratio by xz and the third ratio by xy will get the denominator of 0. This implies yz dx xz dy plus xy dz is equal to 0. This is actually derivative of xyz is equal to 0. Then integrating we get integrating we get so x y z is equal to c two the general solution is given by a of x plus y plus z x y z is equal to 0 so the general solution is given by f of x y z x y x plus y plus z x y z is equal to 0 with this the portion for this class is completed 
I will meet you in the next class with a new topic. Till then, thank you.